Hi, my name is Babbitt. And I'm Marshall. We have a beautiful daughter, Olivia, and we are the Vergeses. We are from Kerala, which is a southern province in India. Kerala is known as God's own country, and it is a place that Thomas, one of Jesus' disciples, came and established his very first church. When did I come to Christ? It's an interesting question. I'm not sure if I remember a specific incident as to when I came to Christ, but I did go through different stages in my life where I had to trust God in those stages. One of those incidents that comes to my mind now is when I was a child, I used to have constant fevers for a long period of time. My family, especially my granddad, used to pray over me with the Bible beside my bed for hours and he used to have tears in his eyes when he prayed. He was a person who used to spend a lot of time praying and talking to the Lord. And I used to wonder, what is he saying to God? Later in my life, I started attending a Thursday Bible study, which happened every Thursdays. And in that particular study, people were not shy to share their personal problems nor their addictions. And in that time, I understood that church can be family. Later in 2009, I moved to Canada. And moving to Canada was a big change for me. I had no family in Canada, so I had to trust God in every decision that I made here. In 2014, I got married. And since both of us come from different churches, it was a learning curve for both of us to worship God together. One similarity that we had was that we were curious about God. We wanted to be as real as we can about our faith to people. For me, Christ was always a part of my life. Being born into a Christian family, I would attend church every Sunday and have a family prayer in the evening, which was very ritualistic. My relationship with Jesus was on and off. I prayed only when I really needed him and that was usually during my exams or a few days before my results were going to be out. But I also remember times when I cried out to Jesus for forgiveness when I had a particularly bad arguments with my mother. My college life was filled with, it was like a roller coaster filled with emotions, disappointments and bad decisions. It was at that time that I completely blocked out Jesus because I felt ashamed and not worthy to reach him again. It was during my internship that my parents introduced me to this handsome man who was working in Canada. Through our conversations over the years, he encouraged me to reconnect with God. We got married and moved to Canada and we started attending a different kind of church which had amazing worship and great sermons which further helped me in finding my way. I started reading the Bible more and slowly my faith grew. But I still held on to certain Christian traditions that had no biblical relevance. It took me years to break away from that mold and to find the truth in my Bible. And when I did, I submitted and obeyed. We as a family have gone through a lot of reformations over the years. In 2018, we were led by God to open our home to different people. And one of our first attendees came from a Hindu background. And this person had a lot of questions. And one of the questions that he asked me or asked us was, why are you opening your home to a person like me? If it is to convert me to another religion, then I'm not interested. But if it is for friendship, then I'm in. At that point, we understood that relationships matter and for the past two years we've been opening our home to different people that come from different walks of life and this initiative has helped us understand people and understand the word of god in a deeper way this is our story till now and as the bible says keep on asking and you will receive keep on seeking and you will find keep on knocking and the doors will be open to you. God, God bless, bless you all. You.